Yep, what it do squad, it's your boy Geek Samurai and welcome back to another episode of Geek Samurai TV. Now on this episode, I wanna talk about something that's very important and this is Thor, Chris Hemsworth. He's talking about, now I'm getting this source and everything from CBR.com. I always get my comic book movies, my comic books. I always get my TV shows, my comic book TV shows. I get everything off of CBR.com. Hollywood Report I go to as well. But CBR.com is like, that's where I get my information all the time, son. So now it's saying here, it's saying here that uh, Thor, Chris Hemsworth, has no plans to lead the MCU after Love and Thunder. In a recent interview, Chris Hemsworth revealed that there is no plans for Thor. There are no plans for Thor, Love and Thunder to be his final Marvel Cinematic Universal film. It appears as though Thor, Love and Thunder will not be Chris Hemsworth's swan song in a Marvel Cinematic Universe. As the MCU star revealed in an interview that he is nowhere near ready to give a plane a role. Come on now. He's good at it. He's great at it. And he's my favorite superhero of all time. Like I've always said in my previous videos, Thor to me is Superman of Marvel Comics. I've always said that. I, I feel like Thor can go toe-to-toe -to -toe Superman at any given day, any given moment. And that is a fact. It says, after Avengers Endgame... We saw the retirement of Chris Evans' Captain America and the death of Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. Chris Hemsworth noted that the film was the last film in his original contract, explaining contractually, right now, yeah, this is it. I'm done. I won't be playing the character again. It's sort of a scary thought. That really seems like this never-ending thing, and now it's potentially finishing. After Endgame's release, though, Chris Hemsworth had also noted, I still love to do more, to be honest, and I don't know what the plan is. I feel like we've opened up such a different character i feel more energized for the possibility of where it could go thank you taika watiti taika watiti you are one of my favorite directors today i love taika watiti man what we do in the shadows is a great movie that he is in and he also directed freaking thor ragnarok and he revived that uh he revived that franchise man i still love thor one and two Dark World, I don't care what nobody said. I love Dark World. But when he came out with Thor Ragnarok, you could see how much Chris Hemmer loved that character. You could see how much he just embodies it. Because he, because Taika Waititi put a whole spin on the character and made it so much better. And now I'm so looking forward to Love and Thunder. And I want Thor, I want Chris Hemmer to play Thor forever and ever. He's a god. He can get old, but you cannot kill a god. You can as MCU has shown that you can, but most in the comic books, you, gods are never dead. Unless you watch Thor Ragnarok. Unless you read the comic book Thor Ragnarok. Gods can die, but for the most part, they are immortal. And you can only imprison or entrap them somewhere for all eternity. But you can't really kill them. But I, I just love the fact that, you know, he Chris Hemsworth is so, uh, you know, enthusiastic about this character. It's, um, it's refreshing to hear this. But I'll use that in other places and other characters if that's the end here i hope it's not the end here because chris handwork man he was born to play thor he has because he's from australia he got that background he got that i think he's from australia i don't even know but he just got the voice for it man he got the body for it and it's like he could just put on the muscles take it off put on the muscles take it off because he has his own workout and he's a big influence on Instagram, on social media, with his different workouts, with his different... The dude is on point, son. Facts. All right, squad, let me know what y'all think about his comments. Let me know what y'all think. Do you want Thor to be to continue? Do you want Chris Hemsworth to continue as Thor? Or do you want... This is it. Do you think that Love and Thunder is going to be the swan song? He comments and said here that he doesn't think so. He still he has a lot to do with the character. As long as Taika Waititi is is directing him, I think he can go a long way. But let's let us know what you think in the comment section. Is Kevin Foggy gonna continue to keep putting out these Thor movies, or is this it for Chris Hemsworth in the MCU? All right, squad, follow me down below at Geek Samurai TV over there on Twitter. That's where I'm always at commenting about movies and movie news, giving y'all the latest updates and the straight fire. Like, subscribe, and share the Geek Samurai. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.